Hello, welcome to today's topic Basic Anatomy MCQ for Physiotherapist. Moving to our first question What is the first bone of skeleton? Option A Tibia, Option B Humerus, Option C Scapula, Option D Clavicle. And the answer is Option D Clavicle. Moving to our second question which of the following is the function of the skeletal system? Option A, hemiopoiesis. Option B, hemiostasis. Option C, peristalsis. Option D, glyconeolysis. And the answer is... Option A, hemiopoiesis. Moving to our third question. What is a trochander? Option A, part of a femur. Option B, a feature of the pelvis. Option C, a projection that forms part of an articulation. Option D, a groove in which lies a tendon. And the answer is... Option A, part of a femur. Moving to our fourth question. One of the functions of the bone is to make the red blood cells. What is the process known as? Option A, hemolysis. Option B, hemiopoiesis. Option C, hematuria. Option D, hemostasis. And the answer is... Option B, hemiopoiesis. Moving to our fifth question. What are the bonds of the fingers known as? Option A, short bonds. Option B, metacarpals. Option C, carpals. Option D, phalanges. And the answer is... Option D, phalanges. Moving to our sixth question. Which term below refers to depression in a bone? Option A, tuberosity. Option B, forza. Option D, tubercle. Option D, contile. And the answer is... Option B, forza. Moving to our seventh question. What is contained within the medullary canal of the long bone? Option A, tubercle. Option B, lamella. Option C, marrow. Option D, osteoblast and osteoclast. And the answer is... Option C, marrow. Moving to our eighth question. Where in the skeleton is the scapula located? Option A, in the axial skeleton. Option B, in the appendicular skeleton. Option C, in the carpal region. Option D, in the shoulder girdle. And the answer is... Option D in the shoulder cradle. Moving to our ninth question. Which of the following is a projection from a bone surface? Option A, fossa. Option B, fissure. Option C, foramen. Option D, phase it. And the answer is... Option D, phase it. Moving to our tenth question. Which of the following bone is a part of cranium? Option A, occipital. Option B, mandible. Option C, hyoid. Option D, carpal. And the answer is... Option A, occipital. Moving to our 11th question. Articulating bonds are joined by... Option A, aponeurosis. Option B, tendon. Option C, fasciculi. Option D, ligaments. And the answer is... Option D, ligaments. Moving to our 12th question. What does articulation refers to? Option A, the joining of a ligament to a bone. Option B, the contact made between a tendon and a bone. Option C, the contact between two bones. Option D, the connection between a muscle and a bone. And the answer is... Option C, the contact between two bones. Moving to our 13th question. Where is the xiphoid process? Option A on the sternum, option B on the humerus, option C on the temporal bone, option D on the tibia. And the answer is... Option A on the sternum. Moving to our 14th question. What term is applied to the moving the thigh laterally away from the midline of the body? Option A, the extension. Option B, adduction. Option C, abduction. Option D, flexion. And the answer is... Option C, abduction. Moving to our 15th question. Hemiopoiesis refers to... Option A, red blood cell formation in a bone marrow. 
option b the process of blood clotting option c the crimination of the red blood cells in a hypertonic solution option d an exclusively large proportion of red blood cells to plasma and the answer is Option A, blood cell formation in the bone marrow. Moving to our 16th question. Blood cell formation, hemiopoiesis occurs in which of the following structure? Option A, red marrow. Option B, yellow marrow. Option C, medullary cavity. Option D, epiphyseal plate. And the answer is... Option A, red marrow. Moving to our 17th question. What are the bone forming cells called? Option A, osteons. Option B, osteocyte. Option C, osteoclast. Option D, osteoblast. And the answer is... Option D, osteoblast. Moving to our 18th question. Which is the most superior? Option A, mandibrium. Option B, occipital bone. Option C, cervical vertebra 3. Option D, petella. And the answer is... Option B, occipital bone. Moving to our 19th question. The process in which cartilage is replaced by bone is called what? Option A, synovial fluid. Option B, ossification. Option C, compact bone. Option D, fracture. And the answer is... Option B, ossification. Moving to our 20th question. What is the distinguishing feature of a synovial joint? Option A, there is a fluid between the articulating bonds. Option B, they are immobile joints. Option C, the articulating bonds are held together by tendons. Option B, they involve a ball and socket articulation. And the answer is... Option A, there is a fluid between the articulating bond. Moving to our 21st question. By which term is the muscle that opposes or reverses a particular movement is called? Option A, agonist. Option B, synergist. Option C, antagonist. Option D, fixator. And the answer is... Option C, antagonist. Moving to our 22nd question. What structure attaches a muscle to the bone? Option A, a tendon. Option A, fasciculus. Option C, the sacromere. Option D, an internal intercostal. And the answer is... Option A, A tendon. Moving to our 23rd question. Which of the following is the smallest unit in a muscle? Option A, muscle fiber. Option B, myosin. Option C, fasciculus. Option D, myofibrils. And the answer is... Option B, myosin. Moving to our 24th question. What does the term origin refers to in a musculoskeletal system? Option A, the point of attachment of a muscle to the movable bone. Option B, the line that separates the shaft from the end of the long bone. Option C, the point of attachment of a muscle to the stationary bone. Option B, the end of a long bone. And the answer is... Option C, the point of attachment of a muscle to the stationary bone. Moving to our 25th question. The space between the rib is filled with... Option A, intercostal muscle. Option B, costal cartilage. Option C, intercostal space. Option D, pleura. And the answer is... Option A, intercostal muscle. So that's all for today. If you need any clarification for any of the questions, do comment in the comment box. I'll be back with upper limb anatomy soon. Thank you.